Welcome back. Now that we established that Mr. J is the next Heisenberg of Blackwell, we're gonna go to the next class, I guess. Unless there's anything else around in here. Hello, Rook. Uh oh. Howdy, Rook. Hi, Max. Making your daily rounds? Something like that. Warren? I'm helping Warren with his latest experiment. Uh oh. Oh, I guess he needed a neophyte assistant so he wouldn't be oh threatened. Oh, my. But you came to his rescue anyway. My nature? Apparently, it's my nature. Yet, Warren ignores the experts right in front of him. Not that he would ask she me for help likes anyway. Born. Again, we meet, Brooke. Uh. This is true, Max. Drone? How is your drone? Miss Grant busted me flying it over the parking lot. She's all jacked up about surveillance bullshit. Like I was spying on Warren's new car. <laughs> you already planted a GPS on him? I borrowed the one he has on you. Oh. Bye. I hate to hit and run, but don't let me get in your way. So long. I'm sensing just a little bit of friction from her, but I think it's time to go to the next class. Skeleton. Hi, Skelly! Wonder why they you. don't use real skeletons. Because that'd be freaky as shit. Wait. Sorry what? to bother you, Mr. Jefferson. I'm only bothered when you avoid. Oh, I gotta talk to him again. Me? You're not the only one. Uh, I might as well just tell I him saw again. David Matt. Mr. Matt. Oh, yes. I have. Let me see that. And Max? I. I assume you. Yeah, we already saw this in the last episode. Everybody. Wow. Well, I'm gonna go back to that. Kate is freaked out. Well, I am not. Oh shit. Uh. Uh. What did he ask? Uh. Yes, I talked to her on the phone today. Okay. She needs friends and support. Rachel Amber? With all her myth. Oh, fuck, really? Nathan Prescott. It did happen. Nathan Prescott had a gun. This is a serious. So you don't believe? I hope so. Listen. Okay. No glass. Stella. Make me beautiful, Hayden. Boom. 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 Dana, you are out of control. Turn left. Talk to you. I'm kind of doing How something now, you, Max. Okay, fine. Fuck you. you hey, you're the guy who took that picture of me a while back. What's up, Daniel? Waiting to draw Dana after Hayden gets his paparazzi on. Oh, yeah. Dana's a model. That's a great sketch of Dana. Daniel is the real deal. Sketch? Looks more like line art. But whatever. What do I know? I'm not no fucking artist. Not like I took school for anything. Ah! Photo! Quickity clack clack. She gonna get pissed? Take all the photos I need. Okay, now let's talk to her. Not now, Max. I'm contemplating shit. <laughs> wow. Contemplate on killing somebody? I'll join. Yeah. Especially with this bitch. Do you think Max will be pissed we're sitting at her desk? Hmm, maybe just Better a little be quiet, bit. Victoria. We have a master snitch and liar here. Did you think we were best friends forever or something? Not at all, Victoria. Max is such an attention whore. Fuck you, Nathan. You would know. Can I sit down now? Oh, please do. Take a selfie of this moment. Fuck you. Yeah, Max. So I won't forget you. I really want to kick your ass. Assholes. Yep. Oh, that's it. So what are we doing here? Kate! Where are you going? Okay, why is David taking photos of Kate? Now this is so All wrong. Alright, what's going on here? Weird. Now what? Um. Um. Uh oh. What do you want? What up, Max? 
Hey, Warren. I saw Kate earlier and her eyes were puffy from crying. Well, what do you expect? Kate has a lot on her plate. I didn't know what to say and she, she didn't tell me anything. Okay, I know you love me, but if you're not in this class, beat it. <laughs> Everybody else, please sit <laughs> down. We have a lot to cover today and so little time as Bye, usual. Warren. I see all the usual suspects here. Oh. Anybody seen Kate Marsh? I think everybody has seen Kate Marsh. I guess Kate will miss class now. I'm worried about like her. Sounds like giggling about a video gone viral. Maybe it involves a student or a friend. I wonder how it would feel to have false images of yourself shot out all over Sorry the world. Sorry for not talking, but judge. I'm kind of getting into this. Usually, people need something to judge, so they never take a good look at themselves. Okay. Okay, that's a thing. We can thank Reality TV for some of that. It's cool that Mr. Jefferson published his own little book of photo tips. No, that's it. No, In the that. end, we can only blame ourselves for participating. Speaking of participation, right. there are a few souls here who have yet to enter a photo in the contest. Like Max Caulfield, for example. Ah, shit. Picking on me. Can't wait to enter, right? I'm sure you read the syllabus like it was a Harry Potter book, so you must know today we're studying Kiroskiro. Whatever that beautiful that is. word about the contrast between light and dark. Oh. The shadow play that gives photography such oh, visual power. I know what you're talking it's about now. It's basic yin and yang. Black and white I've images are effective like precisely because of their contrast. Although we don't technically see in Monaco. Yo! Some crazy shit is going down in the girl's dorm! Zachary, do not come into my class like ever again. <laughs> Listen, everybody remain seated. <laughs> Dismissed. <laughs> Dismissed. So what's going on? See that? Is this for real? It slipped out. I didn't think she was that messy. No. No, 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 no. She did not do what I think she did. No, 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 She can't die. She can't. So what do I do? Not again. Not now. I have to try something. I won't be able to rewind again and again. So what do I do? Fuck you. Fucking piece. So what am I? Did I keep going, Max? You can't do it. Do what? What, am I, what the fuck am I supposed to do? <laughs> okay, she's gonna fall like right around here. So is there like? What am I? <laughs> what the fuck? Do I go in here? Am I... Okay, so I'm pausing time, pretty much. So I'm going to try and save Kate. Yes. Can I save her? Come on. Come on. Don't leave me in suspense. No, no, no. Stop her, Max! Oh. What are you doing here, Max? I'm trying to save you! Stop! Don't come near me! Not now. It won't work. I don't have any power. Now I have to do this by myself? Did you come to get another Pulitzer shot like yesterday, Max? Oh, shit. I've been bullied too, Kate. And even when I got picked on, I oh, stood shit. up for myself. Oh shit, was that really the right thing to say? I know you only stand up for yourself. That's why you let David get in my face, like everybody here. That's not true. People want to help you. Yes, 
they want to help kill me. And they can get their wish. Hey, your life is still yours. And we I don't can know get what to say. <laughs> Let me help. I'm glad to hear you worry about me. That makes me feel better. Of course I worry. You're my friend, Kate. I did feel better talking to you on the phone. I always feel like you really listen. Kate, please trust me. Come stand by me, okay? I can help you now. I know I can. This morning I erased the web link to the video. It was written on the shower room mirror. That's your story now. How can I trust you? What about this morning when I needed help? You told me to do nothing. I gather proof. Hey, I'm gathering proof that Nathan Prescott drugged you. And you're not the only victim. So you have to help me take Nathan down. Nathan Prescott? That makes sense. He's a scumbag. He's a fuckhead. You have proof now? Soon. Then straight to the police. Think of it like we're cleansing Blackwell. You do have my back, Max. That's the first time I've felt hopeful in a week. Just don't fucking kill yourself. We all need to have each other's backs. So, I want you to come with me now. Please, you don't have to do this. Max, I'm in a nightmare and I can't wake up. Uh, unless I put myself to sleep. Oh, fuck. Then everybody at Blackwell can post pics of my body. I'm already on the internet forever. No wonder they call it a web. Nothing can ever get out. Like my video. I wish I could go back in time and erase everything. I can do that. Be strong. There are billions of videos. Be, I think be strong. Kate, this is our chance to beat the bullies. That's the only way we can win against them. Can we really, Max? I don't believe in miracles anymore either. Now I do. You're part of the reason why. If you come down with me, I can tell you more. You're such a good person, Max. Even if you're full of crap. But I'll come with you. You're my friend. Forever. Damn. Can we hug on it? No. Nobody cares about me. What Nobody the fuck? You bipolar bitch. Uh, your father. Kate, I saw that card from your father. You can count on him. He clearly loves you without yeah. question. Dad does care. Even though I hurt him, he's the only one I know who believes in me. See? You're not alone. And nobody down there wants to see you up here. Well, maybe it's for that isn't bitch the end, and asshole. Kate. There's and no what's way God what's doesn't face? have big plans for you here. Nice try, Max. But God put me on this roof. Oh, no, he didn't. You put him. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Uh, Proverbs? How does that proverb go? When justice is done, it brings joy to the righteous, but terror to the evildoers. I don't believe in justice, Max. I don't believe in anything. I anymore. don't know this sh No! Die fuck up! Die fuck up! I think I fucked up! I fucked up! Damn it! I didn't know what to say. I didn't know what the Proverbs or the Matthew things. I didn't read the Bible enough to know to quote every fucking thing from it. I know this isn't pleasant for any of us, but we have to go over what happened before Miss Marsh, before she did what she did. Officer Barry will be taking notes for the official police inquiry. I'm sure you'll give him your full cooperation. Such a tragedy. But there must be a reason for everything. We need to find out Holy why Kate Marsh would be driven to such desperate action. As principal of Blackwell Academy, I take my duty Fuck you, seriously. principal! I take the well-being of every student more seriously. What happened today should never happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge. You Mr. fucked Max, up, principal. As our head of security here, those roof doors should always be locked. That's just standard operating procedure. They were not. 
and that is indeed your responsibility. Mr. Jefferson, I know you can't be expected to know what your students are going through, but Kate has assisted you in class, so you should have known something was amiss. I don't know what to say, guys. <laughs> Mr. Prescott, since you are responsible for the Vortex Club parties, and since Miss Marsh did attend your last party, you'll have to answer some more questions. Uh oh, then comes to me. Oh, te Max, technically. Miss but... Caulfield, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Trying to stop her from killing herself. Plan or anything at all? Please, tell us everything. I don't know if I should tell you anything, you fuckhead! Oh my god. I'm not gonna blame Jefferson. I don't know what Dave was doing. Ah, oh, fuck! I'll just get more in trouble. All I know is that Kate was at a party and Nathan dosed her. She got wasted and kissed some boys on a viral video without a clue. I dosed her? <laughs> without a clue. Have you seen the video? Whatever. Uh Kate was loaded and You're a liar. Field. You told Kate you took her to the emergency room. I said I was going to take her to the ER. She sobered up eventually. Bullshit. Something happened to her and you know it. How about we talk about you waving a gun in the ground? <laughs> That's total slander. I could sue you and this school so fast. I already have a personal lawyer. Careful, Mr. Prescott. I have been told of this alleged gun incident, and I have to admit that the video in question was sent to me by multiple sources. Including me. And since Mr. Prescott does appear prominently in the video and was responsible for the party, I have no choice but to suspend him until further notice. Whatever. See you in court. Fuck you, asshole. Excuse me. I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them further. Oh, a friend no. and fellow student is dead. And they don't need this forum right now. Yes, I'm kind of devastated right now. I'd like to be with my family. Oh, you sound right, like Ms. it, Garfield, jackass. Please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. My head is killing me, but I think I can use my power again. Fuck no. Fucking Nathan Prescott. Well, I think we know less now than when we started. We'll be assisting the police with further inquiries. I know this has been a stressful day. I wish I had the power to change it all for the better. So thank you for coming in. God, he does kind of sound like Lex Luthor, though. Though. Blah. Fuck you, Nathan. I'm gonna kill you, Nathan! Nah, I'm not gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you! Nah, I'm not gonna kill you. Fuck you, Nathan! Ah! I just this is gonna be can't a long episode. believe it. It's like it wasn't even real. Watching her drop like a weight. Something tells I me this really was supposed to happen. I save her. Like a superhero. Come on, Max. Do not for a second blame yourself. Kate was on that roof for her reasons, not yours. My hand just reached out. Stop it. You were the only one with balls enough to run to the roof. Yeah, balls. You were the only one who cared. Yeah, I sure made a big fucking difference. Maybe if more people cared, better people than me. You're the best person around. Warren, I screwed up today. That makes no logical sense. Okay, Warren, Spock. God damn it, Spock again. I don't mean to sound weird, but... There's something ominous <sighs> going on at Blackwell. Today proves that. And I'm working on proof that Kate Marsh is connected to Rachel Amber. Somehow. Along with how, Nathan and Mr. Madsen. I'm not a big conspiracy guy, but I wouldn't doubt it. Nathan <sighs> did scare me yesterday, and Madsen is a straight-up dickhead. So, what do you think is really happening? I don't fucking know. What the hell is this? The weather confirms this weird day. I feel that chill. Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I would know. I would. So is this the end of this episode? 
I believe you, Warren. I'll believe anything this week. What the fuck? What the? <laughs> what the fuck, really? <sighs> Holy shit. <laughs> So I, the way this is set up, I can definitely tell that Kate was supposed to die, which sounds bad. Um, fuck you, Nathan Prescott. Fuck you and go to hell. You go to hell and you go to hell and you die. Run his foot over! Ah, oh, damn it. I almost looked like it there for a second. This is all your fault, you fucking bitch! Well, probably, probably not. I don't know. Definitely your fault, fuckhead! Go to Dell! Fuck you! Mm. Fuck you! Fuck you! It's all your fucking fault! I don't like you! Sad because of Kate Marsh? Why? Do you know her? Oh my god. <laughs> Who are you? Oh, that's Chloe. Did you know Kate? Quit smoking, that's bad for you. Okay. All right. We're gonna save the world. We'll save Arcadia or whatever. Fucking quiet, I don't like it. Now what? So is this like David Matson's uh collection or whatever? I I don't know. Well, that's the end of that episode. Ah, it's going to be a while for the next episode though. Ugh. I don't know. Holy shit. <laughs> uh, tell you what, all this excitement makes me want to pay. <laughs> oh my god, this was quite an episode. I mean, not, not my episode that I'm doing for you guys, but the game's episode. I mean, the first episode, uh, whatever it was, Chrysalis, I think that's what it was. Um, it was, it was kind of slow in a way. I mean, it started out kind of, oh, gunshot, gotta save Chloe, or blah, 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 even though we didn't know it was Chloe, and blah, blah, blah. 
but and then it kind of slowed down a little bit and then it got picked up just a little bit especially with uh, the Nathan fight with uh, Warren and the fight with David Matson. well not really fight but you know but this oh no what the fuck um <laughs> mine's kind of like blown in a little bit and my heart kind of dropped too because of that when I saw her die because I have I guess you could say friends who they haven't suicided but they got into an accident But it's still kind of the same way. You, they were there one second, and next, no, they're gone. <laughs> Holy shit, that's depressing as fuck. <laughs> I mean, I'm laughing, but it's. Why do you think I picked the name Jay? <laughs> because I laugh a lot, even when I'm. Like, at the worst possible things. And don't take it wrong. Because, oh my god. <laughs> I don't know. Again, I really don't know. I'm kind of just bumbling, mumbling here. It really is a good game. It's got a lot of as at 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 the at atmospheric ambience. It makes you really feel sorry for Kate. I mean, the only bad part about this episode was I was having a hell of a time with those fucking uh, bottles. Mostly because you're looking for bottles in a junkyard and everything was just so blended in in a way because of the cell shading. And um, I don't know, I don't know if it is for you guys, but for me, everything's so fucking janky. So every time I move the mouse or whatever, it just goes, uh, 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 just gives me a headache. It helped a little more when I took down the well, brought down the resolution, but at least that's the only part that really had it in for me. And then right after that, it was the, Chloe's gonna get run over by a train. Of course, I got pissy with that because, of course, I get pissy. But uh, I got pissy because I don't know what I'm looking for, and I have to keep rewinding time again and again and again and again and again and again. And I don't like doing that so much. I mean... I will admit the fact that you keep the items and the memories of what happened before with you when you go rewind time, that makes it much better. Because I was trying to go forward and, uh, you know, keep doing one thing in one shot. And that's not how you're supposed to do this. You're supposed to kind of go through time a couple times to do it, to do it right. And then that's what happens. Of course, they're at the fucking end. You can't save Kate and you try to go back in time and do this. Oh, uh, I had to say it, but this is like a really sore subject matter. I mean, teen suicide. I, I'd even say they're teens. I don't know how old they are. As many jokes as I make about, you know, perverse jokes. I don't know how old they are. They're probably less than 18 or whatever. I don't know. I probably wasn't paying attention. But, um, <laughs> but it is a sore subject for, you know, teenagers in school to you know go through school and basically get depressed i've been through it i may have not had as worst as some people but i have been through it i didn't have very many friends in high school <laughs> and i feel for kate so much because of that because i was picked on because i was just a little weird i say a little i mean a lot and I did things people didn't understand. I was, I was, from when I was growing up, I saw mature content, so I always made penis jokes and shit. And people thought I was gay for that. I was like, I'm not gay. I'm just fucking weird and immature. <laughs> but I, I know where Kate's coming from. I mean, I've been through it. I had depressive episodes too, where I felt like I should just fucking kill myself, but I didn't. 
Holy shit. <laughs> um, yeah. Like I said, it's such a sore subject. and Again, I've had friends who have died in high school. And, well, I say friends, but people I know that were actually good people. They didn't really pick on me too much, and that's why. Hey, we're coming to the end. Um, <laughs> me rambling on for a little while. Um, holy shit, I don't know what to do now. I really can't wait for the third episode. I really can't. So you did do this in Autodesk, that's kind of cool. Yeah, sore subject, blah blah blah. Um, yeah. I guess... I should pull a Markiplier here. <laughs> yes, I do watch Markiplier. I don't think there isn't very many people who don't. But anyway. It does get better after school for those of you who do watch this. Which aren't very many at this point, And I understand that. Because I'm just another guy at the bottom of the shit pile that is YouTube. But, um... It does get better after high school or school or whatever. You don't have to deal with all that bullshit. And... Do pay attention to your studies and whatnot. That does help it within growing up and whatnot. Um, I'm going to get to this in just a second, but I understand depressive stuff and all that crap. And I say crap, but that's just how I am. <laughs> um, I've been through it, but don't go suiciding. If you really have suicidal thoughts and whatnot, you need to discuss with a friend, have a friend who knows who you are. S Wait. I could save Kate's life? Oh, fuck me! <laughs> but, uh, back onto the subject of, um, suicidal, because I'm such a scatterbrain. Don't do it. I know it sounds stupid for me saying, don't do it, don't do it, but... Really, you need to talk to somebody if you have suicidal thoughts and whatnot. There are people that who do care for you. I mean, whether it's your actual friends you do have, uh, your teacher, your principal, even though I rag on this principal a little bit because he... I don't know. Anyway, uh, your parents, your friends, your teachers, maybe your co-workers, or maybe even your boss... There are people who do care about you. You shouldn't try and kill yourself just because things are depressing and whatnot. I don't know what I'm saying, to be honest. <laughs> but the best thing I can really say is there are good things in life. There will always be good things in life, and there will always be bad things in life. And a lot of times, the bad things are here, and the good things are way down here you know but that's what makes the good things so good because it's kind of like the light and the darkness how the brighter the bulb is depending on how dark the darkness is if you know what i'm trying to say the darker it is the brighter the bulb is so we kind of, i don't know i don't know what i'm saying i'm not a really good motivational speaker but holy shit, that was an episode. Alright, now that I'm done rambling and bullshitting and probably not making a lot of sense. I'm a fucking idiot, I know. But, let's look at our choices. You told Kate to go to the police. You told Kate to wait for more proof. I was in the 66 percentage. You answered Kate's cell. You didn't answer Kate's cell. I was in the 77. That's kind of weird. 66, 77. You uh, answered Kate's cell. I was in that percentage. You tried to shoot Frank. I was in the percentage of the 57%. Even though that was kind of a bitch. Because I kind of going back in time. Because I'm so indecisive and a scare brain and whatnot. But whatever. And then we get to this. You couldn't save Kate. You saved Kate's life. How? How do you save Kate's life? I gotta have to research that. But, um, you blamed Nathan, you blamed Mr. Jefferson, or you blamed David. I blame Nathan. I didn't blame Mr. Jefferson because 
he does seem like a nice guy. I think he really does care. I mean, this is just my point of view. <laughs> and I didn't blame David because I do have mixed feelings with David. He does seem like an, a bit of a dick, big of a sergeant douchebag, pretty much. I think he does care in a way because, like he said, if he didn't care, he wouldn't do say or do anything about it. Even though it's a little shady that he's going behind a tree, clicky, clicky, clicky at her. It's like, what are you doing, you little weirdo? And then Nathan. How many times have I been saying Nathan's a fucking jackass? And something tells me in the later episodes we're going to find out that he really isn't a jackass. That he has done things in his life and he's been depressive or whatever. There's something to feel with Nathan. You know, make him not as a bad guy, but even though he makes out a bad guy. It, it's all I'm saying this because I played The Walking Dead. Yeah. So what's next? You watered your plant. Why not? You didn't help Alyssa. You helped Alyssa. You erased Kate's... You didn't help Alyssa. I have to guess I'll have to go back and look at that. You were friendly with Taylor. You weren't friendly with Taylor. You accepted Warren's invitation. You weren't. You rejected Warren's invitation. Initially, I kind of thought I should have because Brooke likes her, but I ain't going to be like that. You wrote a message. You didn't write a message. Write a message where? You tampered with the railroad tracks. You didn't tamper with the railroad tracks. What? Or you gained entry to the Vortex Club. You didn't gain entry to the Vortex Club. You helped Warren. You didn't help Warren. You told on David to Mr. Jefferson. You didn't tell David to Mr. Jefferson. I don't know. I think my kind of uh, thing is just be as truthful as honest to the NPCs, I guess. I don't know. I think that's the end of this episode, unless there's something else. Here we go. Ooh, this is kind of creepy. Okay. Chaos theory. No, I guess that is the end of that. Uh, holy shit, that's a lot to think about. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you stay till the very end, I really appreciate it. And thanks for listening to me ramble and probably not make a lot of sense and kind of, I don't know. I'm no motivational speaker. But anyway, stay tuned for more. Like, comment, subscribe. It helps me out. as It really does. It keeps me going. It keeps me from not being so depressed. Uh, sore subject. <laughs> but I guess this will be a long episode. Looks like it's going to be about almost 40 minutes. But again, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoy. And stay positive as much as possible. Bye.